with MIM 2.0, the podcast, and always remember, gentlemen, it's a motherfucking movie. So, today, we're going to be talking about what modern American black man can do to increase their value in the dating market. You know, what do you guys think about that? You know, is there a secret formula that guys with a a limited source of women There's a secret formula that these guys do. So, it basically, if you, if you used to, if you've been to college, And you only attracted five women the whole time you was in college. You know, what can you do to increase that five to 50? How can you increase that five to 100? You know, um, first of all, a lot of guys do not understand that men have a marketplace value as well. You know, it's not like it's our value is not like women's value, you know. You know how a chick can have, can just have that look and be feminine, you know? She looks good and stuff like that. And she can get indoors and attract way more men than a man can attract women. So... What's the secret sauce? What's the secret sauce to turn that five five women that you was attracting in college to 50? What's the secret sauce that men have been displaying where we see them with some of the most beautiful women? We were like, man, if she liked us, you know, we be like, man, I wish I had that girl, man. Man, she looks good. You know, we see, we didn't see the Holly Berries. We didn't see women on TV. You know, we didn't see women in the neighborhood. And it seems like they're interested in guys, but they're not interested in you. So, I'm going to give y'all some tips, some tips to increase your value in the dating market. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to work on your appearance. You know. First thing you want to do is work on your appearance. Because a lot of times guys get chicks. Guys attract chicks based off of their appearance, first and foremost. And then they get to other things. 
you know. So when you think of your appearance, you're thinking about your dress code. You know, are you, how do you dress? What type of cologne do you wear? You know, and a lot of guys are not putting on no good fragrances for these chicks. They they not putting cologne on. Like me, I spray cologne. I'm married, so I'm not really looking for chicks, you know. But I put cologne on because I smoke weed. I smoke a lot of weed, so I put I got cologne, Burberry, Versace, you know. Um, but the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you can at least attract. What's up, Jay? Jay's in the motherfucking house. Yeah, Jay, my cousin, my cousin passed away. Um, um, uh, you probably know her, uh, Kat Johnson, Katrisa Johnson. That's my cousin. Yeah, my cousin passed away in Memphis. Uh. Uh, yeah, facts, if you, if, 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 if you can dress it, if you can dress it, and at least, uh, most, yeah, 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 that's my cousin, so, uh, my cousin, anybody related to Kat Johnson, those were all my people. I haven't even tried the Dior. I'm going to have to try that. So, most people, if you can attract a woman off of your appearance, you know, then the other steps that I'm going to give you is just icing on the cake. You know, because most guys can attract women off their appearance, like uh, like a lot of Pookies and Ray Rays. You know they ain't got nothing going on, but they got them gold teeth. They got them two hundred dollar. They got them two hundred dollar pair of shoes on, and. You know, a lot of women get with these guys and they realize that that this dude he just dressed like that. Like 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 yeah, 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 yeah. He just dressed like that, but he ain't he ain't getting to the money. He ain't got nothing going on that 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 says that he is a high status profile individual in the community because women in 2024 women are attracted to status if you have a million followers on instagram if you have a million followers on tiktok you know a lot of chicks a lot of chicks that go just off of that you know but we're talking about how to increase Increase women vetting you, women seeking you, so you'll have more to pick from. You see, I remember when I didn't know what value was, and I didn't know nothing about increasing my value, and I don't look that, I don't look good at all. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I look like a man. You know what I'm saying? I don't look like uh, uh, any one of them dudes that women like and stuff. So. You know, you know, I had issues, you know, where I had to, I felt like I had to settle. I settled for a lot of women, women with children. Um, 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 I settled for the, for, for the ugly chick in college, you know what I'm saying? But, but there's a formula that we can use. 
where now you can pick them. You don't need nobody to tell. You don't need nobody. Nobody needs nobody, you know. All you need is your swag. All you need is your confidence. And if you don't have a purpose and if you don't have goals, there's no way for you to have any type of confidence because you don't even know where you're going. You know, so the first thing a man wants to do is, you know, it depends on the occasion. You know, we're going to come back to the first thing, but we're going to get to the second thing. The second thing that a man could do to increase his value is to hit the gym. A lot of us, we ain't been to the gym ever since gyms, ever since uh, high school. Most of us ain't been to the gym ever since high school. And a lot of women, they be looking at us. You know, like me, I intimidate a lot of women because I'm big. Like, like, like I'm like 200 and about 25 pounds. You know the big black guy, but most men, I'm I'm way heavier than the average man. You know, but you'll be more approachable if you were 180, solid, 170, solid, solid muscle. Hit in the gym is one of the number one ways. To increase your value in the dating market. Not only are you going to increase your value in the dating market, you're going to meet women in the gym. You're going to meet chicks in the gym. And you're going to have fun doing it. So while you're in the gym, don't be getting serious with the chick in the gym who's trying to work out with you, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's going to give you some place. She's going to invite you to the crib. She's going to give you some of that cookie. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We, uh, we weigh, we weigh just about the same thing. I'm 5'11". I'm 5'11", though. Yeah, so when you get to the gym... You're going to have a lot of chicks in the gym. That, like, like you're going to have a routine. You're going to be like, oh, man, we got to start jogging. You know, you want to increase your value, jog. Run, like, like hit a mile. Fucking uh, hit the gym, play basketball, get, you know, it was, I remember I pulled the most chicks in my life. Before I got married, because I'm married now, but I pulled the I pulled the most chicks of my life when I was skinny. When I was 170 pounds, I had all different types of women, white girls, you know. They're more, I mean, they like big guys too, who's who's up there 200, you know what I'm saying. But if you got other things, then you don't might can skip this one, you know. So when you go to the gym. You're gonna be going in there with usual. It's gonna be usual the usual people in the gym. It should be depending on where you at. Usually, people get memberships to the gym, and they're the, your usual usual people who go to the gym. And the women gonna be like, "Oh, this dude go to work. He come up here. And he probably she probably know you work because you ain't telling nobody your business. But you pulling up in your car, your bicycle, whatever you got. You catching a bus up there, and you're working out." And you're serious about it. You put your your thirty minutes, and you ain't gotta work out for five hours. You can hit you can hit the workout for uh, an hour, you know, thirty minutes, just to 
you know, at least an hour, man. We got to at least do an hour in the gym. You know. Uh, and now you're going to start feeling better. You're going to start breathing better. You're going to start to feel like you can, and women can sit sense. When 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 you're in the gym pumping iron, you know what I'm saying. When you're in the gym pump pumping iron and stuff, women can sense that you can. You're 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 not only more dominant than she is, you know, but she can feel your energy. Like when you don't, when we don't do nothing. Like me, I'm married, so I don't really give a damn, you know. Um. Right now, but I, I'm still trying to get myself together and stuff. But like, women can sense when you don't do nothing and you just chill. You know what I'm saying? So that you know, uh, uh. But there's a lot of girls out here. That, there's a lot of women out here who are looking for guys, bro. Like, there's a lot of good women out here who you have to have a, some type of plan. If you want to get married and you want her a part of your plan, but a lot of you guys on the channel, I know you don't want to get married, and I'm not trying to put you in that. You know, uh, you know, a marriage is a whole different fucking ball game. It's fucking, uh, uh, and then if you got kids, that's the ball game gets fucking bigger. You know what I'm saying? So that's the second thing. The first thing you want to do, you want to get your appearance. And order because you can you can get them with appearance. So appearance appearance has a lot to do with the way you dress, the way people perceive you, the uh 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 like your home, like if you got a nice home uh, and you stay in a nice neighborhood and chicks be like, damn, this dude own his house. Now you got chicks on a higher level be like, damn, this dude. Now you got chicks who can afford three four hundred thousand dollar houses, you know. Because and your car, you know what I'm saying. So you got a nice car. It's not ghetto, you know. Like good chicks who play tennis and go to college. Cause we don't want no hood chicks. How many of you guys want hood chicks? How many guys? We want the chicks that play tennis. We want the chicks that are girly. You know what I'm saying? Fucking um, feminine. You know. We don't want the chicks that smoking blunt, smoking black and miles and stuff like that. So a lot of times we pick up hood chicks because we look hood. They, a lot of women be intimidated because our cars and stuff has a lot to do with our appearance. So if you want you a good girl, you know, if you want you a good girl, you're going to have to... Uh, good good women don't like that hood shit. They be scared. They be like, oh, and then most of them are sensible. They think. They be like, oh, these dudes are crazy. They out here popping perky, shooting. How many, how many a hood chick will, facts. A hood chick will mess up your life. And don't get it twisted. A lot of those chicks yeah, I don't fuck with hood chicks. I'll smash them, but that's about it. Like, I was, I, I'm not saying, like, I don't discriminate because I'm a ratchet-ass nigga. You know, I'm from Memphis, and I'm ratchet still a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I still smash them, but I don't fuck with them. I don't put them on no type of business because nine times out of ten, you can tell by the way they talking and stuff and what they're doing that you don't want to deal with that. You know, yeah, so hood chicks can be trouble um um but there's a lot of women like when you see these uh Asian women, these women be loyal when you see a lot of white women. A lot of people have mixed views on black men already because all over the country, black men are in the media as gang members, uh, uh, guys who are doing this and that, 
who ain't got credit, don't know nothing, uh, is argue, like the, it's just like how black women, how black women got their stereotypes. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say the niggas, the, the ninjas, the ninjas of the African-American community. Facts. Those are absolutely facts. Hood, hood chicks definitely use their their kids as pawns. Like, oh, um, I just seen so many videos. Like, I'm starting to react to a lot of videos, and some of the stuff I can't even react to it because it'd be just that terrible. Like, and the YouTube gonna flag my content. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, so. Yo, yo, so your appearance and your muscle has to do with a lot. Your your car, the way you carry yourself, you know. Um, um, and then we're gonna get to the third thing. The third thing to increase, you know what I'm saying, your selection of, of 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 women is your money. You don't necessarily have to lead with your money, you know. You don't necessarily you don't necessarily have to lead with your money, but what you want to do is you want to be able to be there because if you don't have money, you're not gonna be able to be in these spaces to you know what I'm saying, meet these chicks, you know, like taking a trip, um, uh, 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 a lot of people take trips to find, to hang out, and it's not only for a life, but to meet new women, so money is a big, uh, uh, it's a big one, and I know money is very controversial. It's very, you know, because we know that uh, you have to be very, very cautious with your cash because a lot of women will, um, um, they will basically chameleon mold you. You know, when you leave with your cash, a lot of women will basically chameleon mold you. Meaning that she's not really this type of chick, you know. She's not really this type of chick, but she's acting to your character so she can get what she can get out of the uh, situation. So, well, money, if you do find this chick, Money can build you a fortress, you know. Money can buy you acres of land. Money can buy a home. And all this stuff, the only thing that all this stuff does for you is increase your value. If you have five acres and you just got a tent on there, your value is extremely high. Like, you probably could get a decent-ass woman that's not homeless, because even though you're homeless and you have five acres, you still can get a good woman who's not homeless just because you got five acres, you know, a land. Um, um, I'm not too, I'm, I'm not saying I'm too experienced with women, you know. Um, um, I spent all my life dealing with all different types of black women, uh, white women. Um, um, and I ended up getting tired, bro. I ended up getting tired and I came somewhere new and I met this chick and fucking, I was in a sticky situation and she said, will you marry me? And I, and I was like, down, like somebody said that shit to me. Like, like nobody had never said that shit to me before. She asked me to marry her, bro. Like, and I'm like, damn, I just trapped myself. <laughs> like, yeah, so I ended up saying, yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I married her. And, uh, and, and and it haven't been, it's not all peaches and cream either, man. Women have emotional issues. 
yeah, 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 yeah. That's why the better chick you get, the better chick you get, the better sex you get. I'm telling you, hood chicks, hood chicks think they have incredible sex, but the better, the gooder the chick, the better the fucking sex, guys. Uh, Jay said, I have dated multiple women in my whole decade. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what men do. We're going to go out and, uh, you know, you just can't be soft dick. You know, you can't be soft dick at a uh, pushover. Like, you can't let that, you can't let that coochie whip you. Like, because a lot of chicks be knowing that they can do something to a nigga to make you lose your mind. And 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 she ain't trying to settle down. She just going to got down make you feel like you had the best nut in your fucking life and you going to want that shit over and over. It's like an addiction. Like like for real. Like uh uh Yeah. Yeah, we got to be cautious, man. If we get the money, you got the appearance. That's when it gets sticky. That's when it gets sticky when you got your muscle, your appearance is up, and you got the money. That's when it gets very tricky, you know, because now, like, people are going to know or kind of, they can kind of hint that you're well off already, you know. So you got to be cautious. You hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I love y'all guys, man. So that's the third reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, all three three of those reasons are soundproof reasons. You know, you want to get your hygiene up. Like, you know, like, uh, 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 yeah, 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 dentist. Something I need to do. Dentist, uh, uh, fucking, uh. Uh yeah, yeah hair, um be groomed. A lot of women like well, a lot of good girls like well groomed men. And like I said, the better the woman, the the better the woman, the feminine the woman, the better the sex. Guys, so we gotta be strong, you hear know I me, mean? mentally, because a good woman can't go bad. And a bad woman can go good, but a lot of times a a, a man going to go for that good woman first, even though she's going to go bad, because the bad woman got so many, she done wasted so much time, you know what I'm saying, being bad, you know. But yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 and um, 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 the fourth thing, the fourth thing that you want to do is you want to not care about them hoes. Don't care about them. Like, 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 you know who to care about, you know who not to care about, but don't put your all, they can feel that shit. When you're texting her all the time, you know, you're calling her all the time, you ain't got nothing going on. She know you ain't got nothing going on, you ain't got no other chicks or nothing, you're texting her. Don't, like, like, be cool. And don't fucking, like, don't mind them. Like, like mind your business. You hear me? Get your money. Because when you get your money, women are going to, women are going to come to you out of the blue and talk to you. Like, I used to be a player from the Himalayas, guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Memphis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I am from Memphis. And I done stayed in Atlanta, I done stayed in Houston, I done stayed in Miami. And all these states have beautiful black women, even though a lot of them are crazy. So I remember back in the day, I used to get with all, and I'm like, damn, this bitch crazy, this bitch crazy. And, and they say the same thing, too. I love you. I love you. I'm like, damn. And then you love me, and then you leave me. You have sex. It's it's you love me while we having sex, you know. But um, 
a week later, a month later, you don't love me no more. You know, a lot of these women don't know what relationship is. You can't get caught up in your feelings with these chicks. A lot of chicks don't know how to treat you. You got to groom a woman. A woman has to be pre pre-groomed for you. She has to be pre-groomed for you. Like me, when I met my wife, she wasn't really pre-groomed for me. That's why I'm telling you guys I done been there. She has to be pre-groomed for you, man. My wife, I had to battle. I had to battle with my wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to battle with my wife to get her where I want, uh, where where a wife should be, you know. Um, um, it's good to say she wasn't like the other chicks that, 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 uh, 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 that that's from my past and stuff, but yeah, yeah. And when I say battle, I'm not talking about uh, I'm talking about like understanding you and understanding your purpose and where you're going. So the fifth thing is the fifth the fifth thing that a black man could do to increase his value because I'm gonna drop the game. We got four people who just left. It was five people in here, but it's all good, it's all good in Hollywood. Um, so the fifth thing to do is drop the street lingo. Street lingo only gets you street results. Screw. Let me say that again. Street lingo. Only get you street results. A lot of women, when you travel, when you go to other places, a lot of women not going to be able to understand you, especially if you're from where where I'm from. Like at first, my accent, and when I was down south, my accent was very, very strong, you know. So you don't... Women like the accent, but it throws them off when you don't know nothing behind the accent, you know. So, you know, so we got to uh, 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 be cool-headed. Cool-headed men get what they want in this world. You have to stay cool in the heat. You know, a lot of guys got down. A lot of guys be on the job and getting too hot. Like, I can get hot. I can get high as a motherfucker on the job and stay cool. I remember it was a time where I would get high on the job and I would go crazy because I couldn't handle it. I wasn't used to the environment uh, uh, environments and stuff. But now... Like, I can stay cool. And when you stay cool and you're not arguing, you're doing what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to do, do it. Then your value goes up. Your value goes up, fellas. So we at the end of the video. A lot of people be saying that I be begging for super chats and stuff like that, but I'm going to start doing it. You guys can super chat me throughout the video, but we're going to do it like a church sermon in here. Uh, I'm about to end the video shortly, but if anybody rocking with your boy at the end of these lives, man, drop a super chat, man, and show your boy some support. You know, man, I'm going to keep it coming. We're going we gonna to keep it real. And we're going to get some of the sexiest, slim-built, perkies. I call them perkies, the, the girls with the, with, the, with, with, the, with the perkies, you know. Them things sit up, you know. She runs. She, she jogs. She goes to the gym. She does yoga. Like, really? Bitch, you do, you do mother fucking yoga, oh my god, and you're sexy as hell, you know, like you do yoga and you're fucking sexy, perfect combo, I would love to do some yoga with you, and then we can do what we're doing on the yoga floor, and we can take that to the bedroom, so that's all it is, easy, 
making easy money pimping is hoes is serious. You know. Uh it's been all love. Anybody got anything else they want to say at the end of the video? It's the end of end of the live. Um, um, I think I need to get my ass and find me something to do on my job. You know what I'm saying? Instead of sit in my truck and smoke cigarettes and blunts, <laughs> and, um, and, and, and share content. Um, um. Can I at least get a thumbs up? Can we get some thumbs up on the video, man? We be having a hell of people who be sliding through and no thumbs up. It be some shy chicks, too, who be coming through here who don't be coming. It be chicks coming in here from my past and everything who be coming on these lives and don't they, don't, they won't say shit. And a lot of them, a lot of them probably look good, too. Like, let's grow. Let's increase our value. And and with us increasing our value, let's change ourselves. And within changing ourselves, change will come to the black community. It has to. Let me see what we're doing tomorrow. We are doing light green tomorrow. Okay. 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 All right, guys. This has been nothing but love. I ain't got nothing but love for you, but it's getting late. I got to pick up some equipment, and um, I got this this live dropping, and I got another video I dropped before I did this live that it's not it's not public yet, but I'm gonna be uh uploading that video as well. Um, and then I'm I'm, I'm trying to get more content out, so um, maybe I might.